6.30 a.m. Could be a little bit tougher waking up the kids this morning. We're all missing that extra hour of sleep on daybreak thanks to daylight savings time. And Julia Fellows spoke to a doctor of sleep medicine to share how to get back on the right track. Good morning, Julia. Good morning to you and the doctor explained why the risk of increased heart attacks are very real when we spring forward just one hour. There's nothing wrong with you if you're having a harder time getting out of bed this morning. Just think about it. Sunrise on Friday was at 614 AM. Now that we've sprung forward, you won't see the sun until after seven this morning. And some people are obviously getting up. Uh, when it's darker now, and that has an effect on our sleep timing as well. Dr. B. Tucker Woodson with Freighter and Medical College of Wisconsin performs sleep studies year round. When you go to sleep, you have rapid eye movements. He says the kids may feel sluggish or it may be more painful to get home during the morning rush, but it's also time to look out for each other. When you have uh, the time change when the clock goes forward, there's an increased risk of heart attacks. The reason for that is unknown. We don't know why it is. Dr. Woodson warns sleep deprivation can increase your stress hormones. And that has effects on the heart and risk of heart disease. He says nearly all of us have nothing to worry about and will feel back to normal again in the next day or so. I'm a bit of a baby about it, though. It may take me about a week, but there is one bright spot that Dr. Woodson points out. We get to see the daylight last a little longer in the evening, and he says that has proven to lower the risk of car accidents because you can actually see more outside later. Reporting live from Veterans Park, Julia Fellow, today's TMJ4.